Hello, ILS, and welcome to our very first installation of Etiquette Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to run it back to greetings and introductions for those sorors who may not have been able to join us at the chapter retreat. Now, this will be broken down into a couple of parts, so today we're going to get started with part one. I like to use the Hatch system of greetings, and it was developed by Micah Meyer, who is a world-renowned etiquette professional, and she did such a great job with it. There's no point in me reinventing the wheel. So the H-A-C-H, that stands for handshake, air kiss, cheek kiss, and hug. The handshake is the most common gesture that you're probably going to use in interactions when you're first meeting someone. So when you go in for your handshake, you want to be sure that you're making eye contact with the other party. You also want to stand up if you're able to. You want to shake their hand firmly with your right hand only, even if you're left-handed. I like to recommend stepping forward just slightly with your right leg. That way it offers you a little bit of balance and stability. When you think about the handshake, think two to three pumps, two pumps for business and three pumps for social. But I don't want you to get too hung up on the numbers because no one's going to judge you or chastise you if you happen to do three pumps for business. No one's going to say, oh my God, girl, did you see her give me that extra pump in this business interaction? No, no one's going to do that. So just remember two to three pumps. When you go in for the handshake, you also want to remember never cover the handshake with your idle hand or grasp the forearm of the other person. Those gestures can be construed as power moves and that you're trying to assert your dominance or authority over the other person. Now let's look at a handshake demonstration. See how Soror's Walker and Clark perfectly demonstrate the handshake. Very demure, very mindful, very professional. Now there is an alternative to the handshake. We are still in the age of COVID. Let's be clear, we are not post COVID yet. And if you don't wanna shake someone's hand, you are well within your right to decline a handshake. So a widely accepted alternative um, includes simply placing your right hand over your heart, nodding and smiling. And you can follow that up with, it was very nice to meet you. You can also do a fist bump or elbow bump or something like that. However, I would reserve those for a more informal situations, not in a professional or business setting. The air kiss. So the air kiss is going to be reserved for friends and acquaintances, and you want to be sure that you offer your right cheek first and then your left. And this will basically include you coming cheek to cheek with the other person, either touching or very, very close, and you're literally going to kiss the air beside their face, hence the name air kiss. It's also going to be two kisses for the most part, literally a mwah, mwah. You want to be sure, again, that you offer your right cheek first, because if you go in on the wrong side, you could end up kissing that person on the lips when that wasn't your intention. I mean, unless it was. So the cheek kiss. The cheek kiss is an actual kiss. This is literally you putting your lips on someone else's face. So this is going to be reserved for close friends, family, and children. And this is never going to be used in a business setting. I cannot think of a single professional setting where it would be okay for you to kiss someone. Um, that is an HR call waiting to happen. So just avoid that in business settings and only reserve those kisses for your close friends, family, and children. And lastly, we have the hug. So the hug is also reserved for close friends, family, and children and shouldn't be used in business settings. However, I'll offer the caveat. When we have our area meetings or regional conferences or even our boulets, those are business meetings and professional settings. However, it can be argued that your soror is family. She's literally your sister, um, or at least considered a close friend. So in those situations, it would be perfectly acceptable to offer your soror a hug and greeting. Now, I hope you have learned something new or reiterated something that you already knew. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email to ilsrepresentationcommittee at gmail.com. Of course, you can ask the questions in person, um, but I prefer that you email them to me so I have them in writing. That way I can share with the entire chapter in case someone else has the same question. 
All right. That concludes our very first installation of Etiquette Tip Tuesday, and I cannot wait for the next one. Bye, Sorors.